welcome to all fours e learning today we will discuss about secondary alkyl halides secondary alkyl halides in session 10 now here secondary alkyl halide is given because already i told you primary alkyl halide is given undergoes bimolecular reaction tertiary alkyl halide is given undergoes unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction wherever secondary is given how to identify given reaction is is belongs to sn1r sn2 so here secondary alkyl halide for example here cst is given ch again cst is given here x is given x is equal to chlorine supposed to be here x is equal to chlorine here given substrate is secondary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide is given may undergoes sn1 or sn2 reactions but how to decide given substrate or re reactant undergoes sn1 or sn2 means based on the given reagent wherever strong nucleophile is given the molecule undergoes bimolecular reactions wherever weak nucleophile is given the reactant undergoes unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction here so ionic nucleophiles easily undergoes dissociation produce strong nucleophiles here wherever strong nucleophile is given undergoes bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction for example here koh is given koh is given koh is strong nucleophile here in uh, strong reagent ionic reagent oh minus the cr minus is substituted by oh minus so product is cs3 again ch oh again cs3 here given compound is secondary alcohol secondary alcohol here product is secondary alcohol given reagent is strong is given so this mechanism is sn2 mechanism sn2 mechanism based on the given reagent we can identify given reaction is belongs to sn2 or sn1 for example here h2o is given h2o is given water is given temperature is 35 degree centigrade temperature is given 35 degree centigrade temperature is given given one is a weaker one weaker one is given means the molecule undergoes unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reactions now here secondary alkyl halide which is nucleophile h plus electrophile oh minus is nucleophile the cl minus is replaced by oh all these are one type of hydrolysis reactions one type of hydrolysis reactions so again secondary alcohol is formed so given one is weaker one means the mechanism is sn1 mechanism sn1 mechanism you remember always less temperature is given the molecule undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction wherever high temperature is given the molecule undergoes elimination reactions elimination reaction here for example NaNH2 is given. NaNH2 means which is nucleophile? NH2 minus is nucleophile. NH2 minus is nucleophile. Strong nucleophile is given. So Cl minus is replaced by NH2. Ionic nucleophile is given. So here CH3 again CH. The Cl is replaced by NH2 group here. To amino propane. So NaNH2 is given means. mechanism is sn2 stronger one is given sn2 reactions in the same way only nh3 is given without ion k plus na plus ca plus 2 like this only nh3 is given here also same thing less amount of temperature is given nothing but 30 to 35 degree centigrade temperature something so nh3 is given h plus and nh2 minus H plus is electrophile, NH2 minus is electrophile. So 
here also same thing the cl is replaced by ns2 group the cl is replaced by ns2 group chlorine is substituted by ns2 group given one is weaker one means here sn1 reaction so you remember simple way means sodium potassium calcium is given we have to write sn2 mechanisms that is a way nothing but simple method that one here ns3 is given we have to write the product like this for example here cs3 ona is given cs3 ona means cs2 o minus na plus cs2 o minus na plus is given the cl is replaced by what here cs2 o minus preparation of ethers one type of ether cs2 again ch o cs3 again here cs3 is given williamson synthesis so here na is given nothing but a stronger one is given means sn2 reaction sn2 reaction here sn2 reaction only simple alcohol is given cscoh is given only simple alcohol is given we can write sn1 cscho na is given cscho na is given means which one here stronger one is given stronger one is given final product is cs3 again ch cs3 the cl is replaced by what which is going to form the bond with carbon oxygen why because here oxygen act as a nucleophile here due to the presence of lone pairs or negative charge so here o co bond is formed in this case again c double bond o c double bond o again ch3 l cs3 l or c double bond o or is given ester is formed in this case ester is formed in this case here ester is formed in this case for example nai temperature is given or stone is given stone is given nai stronger one is given cl is replaced by what incoming nucleophile which one is incoming nucleophile i minus outgoing nucleophile is cl so here cs3 is given here ch i is given again cs3 finkelstein reaction Finkelstein reaction already we have discussed this concept. Finkelstein reaction is nucleophilic substitution reaction, bimolecular reaction here, bimolecular reaction here. Finkelstein reaction preparation of alkyl halide again al halogen compounds. Finkelstein reaction. For example here, KCN is given. KCN is given. AgCN is given. KCN, AgCN, which is nucleophile here, CN, which is nucleophile, CN here, CN, CN minus is substituted by CN, so here, CS3 group, again, CN here, CS3, given one is stronger one means, what type of mechanism is possible, bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction, wherever silver cyanide is given, wherever silver cyanide is given here isocyanide is formed in this case isocyanide is formed in this case this one is somewhat covalent nature here ionic nature due to covalent nature the molecule follow that sn1 mechanism here sn2 mechanism sn2 mechanism so supposed to be here kcn is given kcn is given kcn is given so C triple bond N, which is having one lone pair minus here, nothing but lone pair here. The nitrogen is belongs to which group? Fifth group. Number of electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. By the removal of K plus we can get here minus. So if you write the resonance for this one, here C double bond N, C double bond N minus, N minus. So, if you take this one, hybridated state is given, both are having partial negative charges here. According to that resonance structures, carbon and nitrogen, both are carrying lone pairs. Both are carrying lone pairs. Given, given nucleophile is CN. CN, nothing but a cyanogroup. Carbon and nitrogen, both are carrying 
lone pairs means in this case both will act as a nucleophiles carbon can donate lone pair to given one and nitrogen also can donate lone pair to given one that means nitrogen and carbon both will act as a donors this type of nucleophiles are generally called what ambidentate nucleophiles ambidentate nucleophiles due to that reason cyano is preferable one is cyano when compared to nitrogen compound isocyano why because why we have to write cyano in this case means if you take ccn and cn bonds when compared to cn bonds cc bond is somewhat stable one year when compared to cc bond cn bond weaker one year so which is preferable in this case cc bond is preferable whenever the carbon donate lone pair to or whenever carbon form the bond with given substrate carbon form the cc bond here cc bond in case nitrogen form the bond with carbon means form the nc bond here nc bond but according to bond stability order cc bond is important one in nothing but stable one when compared to cn cyano group that's why kcn is given cyano compound is formed in this case wherever agcn is given wherever agcn is given means having covalent nature when compared to kcn kcn is having ionic nature easily under host dissociation then form the k plus cn minus wherever silver cyanide is given silver cyanide is given means the silver cyanide is having covalent nature here covalent nature here so here ag c triple bond n is given covalent nature so in this case nitrogen can act as a donor in this case nitrogen can form the bond with given substrate or given reactant carbon so new bond is formed nothing but the cl is replaced by c in this case ag cl is by product ag cl is by product that means due to the presence of covalent nature silver cyanide is given from the isocyanides due to the uh, presence of ionic nature potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide is given from the cyano compounds this is the way to explain how to form the cyano and the isocyano compounds isocyano compounds here here kno2 is given here agno2 is given kno2 is given agno2 is given kno2 is given means here kno2 is given means here csgch again csg ono2 ono nitrate of compound is important in this case here ch again csg no2 compound is formed in this case again same thing due to the presence of ionic nature due to the presence of ionic nature form the nitrite of compound due to the presence of covalent nature form the nitro compounds nitro compounds here this one is sn2 this one is sn1 given one is ag and ag is given you remember sn1 reaction reason covalent nature weaker one when compared to that one here for example na n3 is given na n3 is given means which is nucleophile here n3 minus is nucleophile n3 minus is nucleophile means the cl is replaced by n3 here the cl is replaced by n3 here this is the way to write that given reactions that means given reaction means based on the reagent we can identify sn1 or sn2 sn1 or sn2 here so primary is given sn2 reaction tertiary is given sn1 reaction secondary is given based on the given reagent we can write given reaction is sn1 or sn2 reactions this is the way to write that products for example wherever compound is given which is having ph here here ch3 ph here ch3 here hydrogen is given only one example so we will discuss here supposed to be here c 
सी एल इज गिवेन सी एल इज गिवेन सी एल इज गिवेन हियर रिएजेंट इज सोडियम आयोडाइड एसिटोन मीडियम एसिटोन मीडियम हियर एसिटोन मीडियम इज गिवेन रिमेम्बर एसिटोन मीडियम इज गिवेन मीन्स बेस्ड ऑन द सॉलमेंट वी कैन एक्सप्लेन इजली दट वन इज एस एन टू रिएक्शन वाट टाइप ऑफ सालवेंट्स आर फेवरेबल फॉर एस एन टू रिएक्शन अप्रोटिक सालवेंट्स आर फेवरेबल फॉर एस एन टू रिएक्शन डायमिथाइल सलफाक्साइड डायमिथाइल फार्माइड एसिटोन लाइक दिस सो आलरेडी वी हेव डिस्कस दट कॉन्सेप्ट राइट ना ओनली द सी एल इज रिप्लेस बाय आई अकॉर्डिंग टू दट कॉन्सेप्ट मालिक्यूल अंडर गोस बाय मालिकुलर रिएक्शन देन हाउ कैन यू राइट द प्रोडक्ट इयर दट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट आलरेडी यू नो वाट टाइप ऑफ मेकानिजम इज पॉसिबल वाट टाइप ऑफ मेकानिजम इज पॉसिबल इयर बाय मालिकुलर मेकानिजम इज पॉसिबल इन दिस केस बाय मालिकुलर मेकानिजम इज पॉसिबल अगेन गिवेन रिएक्टेंट इज कैरियंग खैराल सेंटर फेनाइल मिथाइल क्लोरिन हाइड्रोजन गिवेन रिएक्टेंट इज कैरियंग खैराल सेंटर already i told you according to mechanism in a bimolecular reaction the given reactant is carrying chiral center means what type of product is possible valden inversion product valden inversion product here so that incoming nucleophile occupy that exactly opposite of leaving group which is which one is leaving group here cl minus which is leaving group outgoing nucleophile cl incoming nucleophile is i here so here ph here ch3 opposite position means h here opposite position means h position the h occupy this one again given nucleophile occupy op exactly opposite of leaving group this is the way to write that product wherever stereochemistry is given based on the stereochemistry we have to write the product in this case we have to write the product in this case valden inversion product is formed here valden inversion product simple sn1 is given simple sn1 is given means we have to write the racemic mixture for example in this case here h2o is given h2o is given temperature is less amount of temperature 30 to 35 degree centigrade temperature is given supposed to be already i told you more amount of temperature 80 90 like this is given the molecule undergoes elimination but less amount of temperature is given the molecule follows that what type of mechanism substituted mechanism major one is substitution major one is substitution the cl is replaced by oh but what type of mechanism sn1 mechanism SN1 mechanism means the attacking nucleophile attack that center front side or back side doesn't matter in this case why because the reactant is carrying chiral center chiral center is given the molecule follow uh, chiral center is given if molecules follow unimolecular reaction form the what racemic mixture racemic mixture here here ph is and ch3 and ch3 here OH group, OH group here, H plus. Again, pH is given here, CS3. OH again, here hydrogen. Here hydrogen here, hydrogen. So this is the way to write that product here. To write that product here. supposed to be here one is given two is given three is given so what type of configuration here s configuration 1 2 3 yes but we have to write the opposite because first priority group present on what it is away from the central atom represented by dotted lines means we have to give the opposite configuration so you forget about the sigma so this is the way to write that products wherever stereochemistry is given we have to write the stereochemistry products in this case this is the way to write that substitution reactions next one is elimination reactions elimination or reactions 
elimination reactions alkyl halides undergoes two types of reactions already we have discussed that concept in chemical properties one is substitution reaction second one is elimination reactions elimination reactions elimination reactions means removal of groups from given substrate form the eliminated product eliminated product here so alkyl halides undergoes elimination form the alkenes alkenes sometimes carbenes also formed in this case so elimination reactions means based on the substrate we can write that product here mainly elimination reactions are divided into two types alpha elimination reactions beta elimination reactions alpha elimination reactions beta elimination reactions what is the meaning of alpha elimination what is the meaning of beta elimination how can you identify how could you identify given reaction is beta elimination reaction or alpha elimination reactions remember removal of two groups from only one center is called what alpha elimination removal of two groups from two adjacent carbons are called what beta elimination reactions majority of the reactions are beta elimination reactions beta elimination reactions supposed to be here chloroform is given which is having three chlorines which is having three chlorines here alkalic reagent is given removal of h and cl will get what carbene dichlorocarbene removal of two groups hydrogen and chlorine from where only one center this type of reactions are called what alpha elimination reactions beta elimination reaction for example here x is given here h is given alpha and beta alpha and beta removal of hydrogen from where beta carbon beta carbon so removal of hx from the c double bond cl this type of reactions are called what beta elimination reaction this type of reactions are called what alpha elimination reactions alpha elimination reactions based on the mechanism again divided into four classes here so in this case beta elimination means important one is e1 elimination reactions e2 elimination reactions e2 elimination reactions even elimination reactions unimolecular elimination reactions bimolecular elimination reactions intramolecular elimination reactions elimination reactions via conjugated base conjugated base here already discussed in alkenes chapter alkenes chapter here now e1 e2 e e e i plus e1 cb elimination reactions these type of reactions are possible in alkyl halides in alkyl halides here so you remember wherever alkyl halide is given wherever alkyl halide is given how to write the reactivity order in elimination reactions means based on the given substrate structure based on the given reactant structure that means already we have discussed how many types of alkyl halides are possible here three types primary alkyl halides secondary alkyl halides tertiary alkyl halides based on the connectivity of halogen we can explain that concept so here tertiary alkyl halide if you want to write the reactivity order in elimination reactions tertiary alkyl halide tertiary alkyl halide is greater than secondary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide is greater than primary alkyl halides primary alkyl halides primary alkyl halides here simple one is given simple one is given elimination reaction somewhat less reactions sorry towards elimination reaction somewhat less reactivity is there tertiary is given reactivity is more why because based on the inductive effect concept we can explain that concept based on the inductive effect we can explain that one here 
टेरशरी हल्केल हाइलाइड सपोज टू बी इफ टेरशरी हल्केल हाइलाइड इज गिवन दैट टेरशरी हल्केल हाइलाइड अंडरगोस एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन फ्रॉम द मोर सब्स्टिट्यूटेड आल्किन मोर सब्स्टिट्यूटेड आल्किन लाइक दिस मोर सब्स्टिट्यूटेड आल्किन वेयर एवर सिंपल हल्केल हाइलाइड इज गिवन इफ सिंपल हल्केल हाइलाइड अंडरगोस एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शंस फ्रॉम द less substituted alkene according to stability order more substituted alkene is more stable when compared to less substituted alkene based on the number of alpha hydrogens we can explain the formation order is the formation order alkenes formation order here tetra substituted alkene tetra substituted alkene formation order here mono substituted mono substituted simple alkene here simple alkene the formation order highly substituted alkene formation is more when compared to less substituted alkene here suppose to be r is equal to methyl 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 is given methyl is given means cs3 group having how many alpha hydrogens three alpha hydrogens Here how many alpha hydrogen? Three alpha hydrogen. Supposed to be three plus three plus three plus three. Total twelve alpha hydrogens. Hyper conjugation structures are more more stable compound is formed here. More stable compound is formed here. Wherever halide is given, iodide is greater than bromide is greater than and chloride. This is the way to write that elimination products. Nothing but reactivity of alkyl halides and formation order of alkenes formation order of alkenes so always we have to write b a beta elimination reaction supposed to be e1 is given e2 is given supposed to be e1 and e2 reactions e1 reaction proceed via carbocation intermediate e1 reactions proceed via carbocation intermediate E2 reaction proceed via transition state. Transition state. Here carbocation intermediate. Carbocation intermediate. So carbocation intermediate transition state means wherever carbocation is formed, nothing but whatever reaction is given. If the reaction proceed via carbocation intermediate, then rearrangement is possible. nothing but multiple steps are possible here so even reaction is non concerted reaction non concerted reaction e2 reaction concerted reaction concerted reaction here non concerted reaction i am going to tell you that simple mechanism only because briefly we have discussed that mechanisms in alkenes first year concept that one so i will remind you that remind you that one carbocation intermediate non concerted reaction transition state concerted reactions concerted reactions wherever given reactant undergoes even reactions means the rate is directly proportional to given alkyl halide only given alkyl halide only due to that reason due to that reason is generally called what unimolecular reaction wherever e2 reaction is given the rate is directly proportional to alkyl halide and eto minus r ro minus ro minus here rate is depends on both due to that reason this one is generally called bimolecular reaction this one is generally called unimolecular reaction unimolecular reaction here so carbocation intermediate transition state intermediate here transition state intermediate this is the way to write that differences in between e1 and e2 reactions e1 and e2 reactions in this case here for example 
primary alkyl halide is given here csc is given again csc is given uh, csc cl is given tertiary alkyl halide here csc is given here csc is given here cl is given here primary alkyl halide is given here cl cl primary alkyl halide is given cl here tertiary alkyl halide by the removal of by the removal of hcl we'll get what here alkene system cs2 double bond cs2 double bond here cs3 again cs3 if you remove the hcl if you remove the hcl form the what here ch double bond nothing but ch uh, ch hcl hcl ch double bond ch2 again removal of hcl removal of hcl minus hcl here ch2 double bond ch2 given substrate given reactant has tertiary nature given reactant has secondary nature given reactant has primary nature which one form the more substituted compound this one according to stability order 3 plus 3 6 alpha hydrogens here 3 alpha hydrogens no alpha hydrogens no alpha hydrogens according to that concept tertiary alkyl halide reactivity is more when compared to secondary secondary compound reactivity is more when compared to primary compounds primary compounds in elimination reactions elimination reaction is given means how to write the product supposed to be if substrate or reactant is carrying two types or more than two types of hydrogens means based on this CGF rule we can write that product here CGF rule so we will discuss that CGF rule in next session thank you